Aaron in Florida writes to me and wants to get me in trouble. <laughs> and I'm letting him. <laughs> hey, Paul, long-time listener, first-time caller. I, I understand some things like the $200 IEM or balance cables for a pair of, say, Audis or ZMF cans, but there's a cable on pages that cost $21,000. Is it made out of Sasquatch bone marrow? <laughs> I love it. I'm interested in your opinion on extravagantly priced cables because I know there's a market for it, so yay. All in good fun. Love your channel. Thanks. Yeah, you just want to get me in trouble. $21,000 loudspeakers. Well, uh, loudspeaker cables. I, I think I have a pair. I think I have several pair. I think I have multiple pair of those. And um, I mean, there's a cable. You know, look at this thing. What is it, $1.95, $2? Here's another cable. There's all kinds of cables. Cables coming out our yin-yangs. Ah! They're dying here. Sorry, probably over-modulated the mic. Um, cables, 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 lots of cables. I don't think any cable is worth $21,000. I really don't. And my good friend, Bill Lowe at AudioQuest, he and I can, can you swords and all that. I mean, part of it I understand. Part of it, it you know, the way they, and I'm not just going to pick on AudioQuest because I love AudioQuest. I mean, it's, th that's, that's, that's my speaker cables right now. That's what I use. That's what I endorse. I really like them. I think they're way overpriced. I think solid silver connectors are very expensive. God knows what's inside of those things. I know they're very difficult to build. And, um, yeah, I mean, how much of it makes a difference? Well, here, here's what I can tell you. In all honesty, the cables really are spectacular, and they're better than anything I've heard. And, I mean, if you, if you hook this up, uh, it's not going to sound as good as if you hook those up. Not by any means. And if I could find a cheaper cable that sounded as good in those respects, I would use it. Because I'm basically a cheapskate. Yep. However, I am also a nut job for performance and sound quality. And until somebody shows me a lower priced cable, I, I'm kind of going with these. But I, I just, I cannot justify in my mind the expense. And I cannot recommend to anybody to spend $21,000 on, on cables. I can't. I do it. Plenty of other people do it, and they're happy as hell for it. It's the same thing. I can't, my stupid Tesla costs $90,000. That's way too much for a car. If I were, I would, I mean, I did it because I can, okay? Do I recommend it to somebody else? No. If you want a Tesla, go get a three. I mean, they start at 35, 40,000 bucks, which is a reasonable price for a car. Should you pay more than that? Nope. I can't tell you to go out and do that. I can't. Is my Tesla a kick in the ass to drive? And do I love it to death? Absolutely. It is fun. I love that car. And I love my cables. So can I justify it? Nope. Can I recommend it? Nope. Do I use it? Yep. There you have it. Take it easy.